Want to learn your target language for free? Then get our language gifts of the month right now before they expire. Here's what you're getting this month. First, the Giving Directions Conversation Cheat Sheet. Do you know how to tell a taxi driver where to go in your target language? You'll be able to. With this PDF cheat sheet, you'll learn must know words and phrases for giving directions. Second, the Most Common Verbs PDF eBook. You'll learn over 90 common verbs with this bonus PDF picture eBook. Download and review on any device. Third, how to talk about what you do in your free time. Learn how to say video games, fishing, and much more. You'll pick up over 25 words for leisure activities with this vocab bonus. Fourth, how to learn from home, learning strategies. Want to learn the language from the comfort of your own home? This one minute lesson will give you all the best tactics for learning languages. Fifth, the top 35 adjectives for personalities. Can you describe your personality? This next bonus will teach you the 35 must-know adjectives for personalities, so you can talk about yourself in your target language. Sixth, free language learning audiobooks. Want free access to our huge library of beginner-level audiobooks? Then click the link below. Save the audiobooks to your device and listen and learn. They're yours to keep forever. And finally, the deal of the month. If you want to finally master the language with lessons by real teachers and our complete language learning program, get up to 45% off our six month challenge sale. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the description below. Download them right now before they expire. In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Romanian. Hi everybody, my name is Larissa. Welcome to the 800 Core Romanian Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Romanian. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we'll include the previous lessons at the end. So, after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at romanianpod101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally master Romanian. Okay, let's get started. First is... Câine Dog Câine Câine Dog Acela este câinele tău? Is that your dog? Acela este câinele tău? Pisica. Cat. Pisica. P C C. Cat. Un motan este un mascul al pisicii. A tomcat is a male cat. Un motan este un mascul al pisici. Hamster. 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 Hamsterilor le place să doarmă pe parcursul zilei. Hamsters like to sleep during the day. Hamsterilor le place să doarmă pe parcursul zilei. Cald. Warm. Cald. Cald. Warm. Luna iunie este caldă în România. 
the month of June is warm in Romania. Luna Iunie este caldă în România. Ploaie Rain Ploaie Ploaie Rain Îmi place ploaia de vară. I like the summer rain. Îmi place ploaia de vară. Roșie Tomato Roșie Ro și Yeah. Tomato. Am cumpărat un kilogram de roșii. I bought one kilo of tomatoes. Am cumpărat un kilogram de roșii. Capșuna. Strawberry. Capșuna. Cup shu na. Strawberry. Cumpără o prăjitură cu capșune, te rog. Buy a strawberry cake, please. Cumpără o prăjitură cu căpșune. Te rog. Cireașă. Cherry. Cireașă. Cireașă. Cherry. Când eram mic, am plantat un cireș. When I was little, I planted a cherry tree. Când eram mic, am plantat un cireș. Copil Child Copil Copil Child. Centura copilului nu era pusă corect. The child's belt was not correctly placed. Centura copilului nu era pusă corect. Prieten friend prieten pri e ten friend ești un prieten minunat you are an awesome friend ești un prieten Minunat! Adult 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 Câteodată, să fii adult nu este foarte distractiv. Sometimes, being an adult just isn't very fun. Câteodată, să fii adult nu este foarte 
distractiv. Bicicletă. Bicycle. Bicicletă. Bicicletă. Bicycle. Ea are două biciclete. She has two bicycles. Ea are două biciclete. Mașină. Car. Mașină. Ma și na. Car. A urca într-o mașină. Get in a car. A urca într-o mașină. Motocicletă. Motorcycle. Motocicletă. Mo to ci cle tă. Motorcycle. Doriți o motocicletă sau o bicicletă? Do you want a motorcycle or a bike? Doriți o motocicletă sau o bicicletă? Scooter. 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 Scooterele sunt foarte practice în oraș. Scooters are convenient in the city. Scuterele sunt foarte practice în oraș. Barcă. Boat. Barcă. Barcă. Boat. Un mod distractiv de a descoperi frumusețea Dunării este să cumperi o excursie de o zi cu o barcă privată cu motor. A fun way to discover the beauty of the Danube River is to pay for a one-day cruise with a personal motorboat. Un mod distractiv de a descoperi frumusețea Dunării este să cumperi o excursie de o zi cu o barcă privată cu motor. Meduză Jellyfish Meduză Meduză Jellyfish Am fost înțepat de o meduză otrăvitoare și am o arsură. I got a poisonous burn from jellyfish. Am fost înțepat de o meduză otrăvitoare și am o arsură. Homar. Lobster. Homar. Ho mar. Lobster. Homari sunt foarte scumpi. Lobsters are very expensive. Homari sunt foarte Scumpi.
crab, 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 crab. Cei doi crabi se plimbau pe o piatră. The two crabs are walking on a rock. Cei doi crabi se plimbau pe o piatră. Broască testoasă. Turtle. Broască testoasă. Broască testoasă. Turtle. Broasca testoasă înnoată în mare. The sea turtle is swimming in the sea. Broasca testoasă înnoată în mare. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at romanianpod101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time! Arrivederci! Hey everyone, welcome to The Monthly Review, the monthly show on language learning. Where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is... The first step in your language learning journey that will guarantee your success. If you have trouble sticking with your language learning goals, it's probably because you're skipping one specific step. It's the step you need to take before you even start any learning. And doing it will help you stick with the language, not get overwhelmed and reach your language goals. So today you'll learn, one, what solo language learners need to succeed, and two, how to do self-assessment and set yourself up for success. But first, listen up. Here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the Giving Directions Conversation Cheat Sheet. Do you know how to tell a taxi driver where to go in your target language? You'll be able to. With this PDF cheat sheet, you'll learn must-know words and phrases for giving directions. Second, the Most Common Verbs PDF eBook. You'll learn over 90 common verbs with this bonus PDF picture eBook. Download and review on any device. Third, how to talk about what you do in your free time. Learn how to say video games, fishing, and much more. You'll pick up over 25 words for leisure activities with this vocab bonus. Fourth, how to learn from home, learning strategies. Want to learn the language from the comfort of your home? This one minute lesson will give you all the best tactics for learning languages. Fifth, the top 35 adjectives for personalities. Can you describe your personality? This next bonus teaches you the 35 must-know adjectives for personalities, so you can talk about yourself in your target language. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. Okay, let's jump into today's topic. The first step in your language learning journey that will guarantee your success. Here's a question for you. When you want to learn a language, how do you usually get started with that goal? You might say the inspiration comes first and that motivates you to start. Then you get a textbook or an app and go from there, right? That's a pretty standard answer, but how does that tend to work out? Most people end up falling off a week or a month later. Why do you think that happens? Leave a comment with why you think people tend to lose inspiration quickly. More often than not, it happens because you pick a goal, a learning routine, or a resource that overwhelms you and just isn't right for you. Here's a typical example. Let's say you work an eight-hour day and you want to try to start learning. Most people would try to squeeze in learning for one or two hours at night, or you could try and wake up an hour early. 
And usually that doesn't work out because you're trying to do things that you're not used to. Wake up earlier and study earlier. It doesn't fit your current lifestyle. So what should you do differently? Well, let's take an example from language schools. Before you start learning, language schools force you to take an assessment test on the first day. Why? So that they make sure the language lessons fit your level and put you in the proper class. The goal of an assessment test is to find out where you are and meet you there. That's something most solo learners don't do. And the problem is if you're a solo learner, no one assesses you. And you yourself don't know what routine works best for you, how much time you can set aside and how much studying you can comfortably do. We all imagine we can do an hour a day, but realistically speaking, it'll be a lot less than that. So that's where self-assessment comes in. Before you start learning a language or do any goal for that matter, it's important to know where you are in life, what your daily schedule is like, when you're busy and when you're free. So you can set your expectations, know how much time you can put in, and so you can start learning at a pace that works for you. Now, how do you actually assess yourself? There are three assessments you can do. One, a life assessment. Two, a routine assessment. And three, language assessment. Language assessment will only be helpful if you already have some experience. If you're brand new, you won't need this. First, life assessment. Here, the goal is to see how the language will fit into your life and how you generally deal with goals. As in, if you succeeded with a goal before, what helped you succeed? You could take that and apply it here. If you failed before, find out why so you can avoid it this time. So you'll need to answer the following questions. Why are you learning this language? How will it help your life? What current connections do you have to this language? For example, listening to music, watching TV, you have a relative, you have neighbors or friends that speak it. What have you been doing so far to learn? Have you learned languages before? Have you failed any goals before? How or why? Have you succeeded with any goals before? How or why? Write these questions out and answer them. Next, the routine assessment. Write out your daily routine for a whole week. For example, wake up at 7 a.m., breakfast at 8 a.m., commute to work at 8.30 a.m., arrive at work at 9.30 a.m., lunch at 1 p.m., and so on. Do this for every day of the week. The goal here is to see what your daily routine is like so you know when you're free, when you're busy, and where you can fit in language learning. That way, if you're super busy on Mondays and five minutes is all you can do, then that's good enough. You won't feel bad about doing only five minutes. If you see that you spend 30 minutes on commuting, add language learning on top of that existing routine. If you take walks or go for a jog, play an audio lesson there. Or even if you're cooking at a certain time, play an audio lesson in the background. Remember, look for an existing routine that you already stick with, like commuting, and where you can multitask. Don't try to create new routines. For example, waking up at 7 a.m. to learn will set you up for failure. If you usually wake up at 8 a.m., waking up at 7 a.m. will be even harder. And then, actually trying to learn a language at 7 a.m. makes it even harder. This is where new learners start having trouble. You're trying to do two things at once, trying to learn the language and trying to stick to a new routine. One is hard enough. Trying to do two can overwhelm you. So piggyback off of your existing routines first so you can build momentum. And finally, there's language assessment. If you're an absolute beginner, you won't need much of an assessment. Just start with our absolute beginner recommended learning pathway. But if you have experience and want to assess yourself, there are two things you can do. First, if you're a Premium Plus user, then you're asked to do an assessment test when you join, but you can always request it again from your teacher. And second, if you're a Premium user, check our recommended pathways. We assign these pathways, level one to level five, based on your learning level, from absolute beginner to advanced. At the start of each pathway, there's a diagnostic test. You can take that to assess yourself. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about when routines grow stale, how to learn more language with a new routine. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye. What's your reason for learning language? 
Is it a personal goal, a hobby, or do you have dreams of moving to a country where it's spoken? In this video, you'll learn why your reason is crucial for motivation and for your success in language learning. We'll look at the top 10 reasons for learning a language from language learners just like you. What's your number one reason for learning a language? Whatever your reason is, whether big or small, knowing it or knowing your why is crucial for success and motivation. Number one, I love the culture and the people who speak the language. This is a popular answer. Learning a language can be a great way to learn more about the culture and open up new ways to experience it. Number two, I want to understand my favorite songs, movies, and TV shows. That's right. Songs, movies, and shows are great ways to immerse yourself in the language. If you're spending your time learning and also immersing yourself, you'll learn faster. Number three, it's a beautiful language. Sometimes the answer is as simple as that. You have a genuine interest in the language itself. Number four, my family comes from a place where the language is spoken. This can be popular for students who have moved to a new country and might want to connect to their home country's culture. Learning a language lets them learn things about their heritage and communicate with people who can teach them more about their cultural history. If your grandmother speaks a different language from you, it can be pretty hard to connect. So a lot of people want to learn a language to connect to family members as well. Number five, I want to speak to my partner's family in their language. Similar to the reason above, perhaps you want to speak to your partner's parents or grandparents, but they don't speak your language. Not only can learning their native language let you connect with them on a more personal level, but it's also likely to impress them. Number six, I'm learning the language to impress someone. We have many students say that they want to learn a new language to impress someone in their life. This could be a teacher, a parent, a friend, or even someone they admire and look up to. It always feels good to accomplish something and have other people recognize and be proud of your achievement. And you see this very often in language learning. When you learn a new phrase or can make a longer conversation, the people around you are bound to be impressed. Number seven, a love of traveling. There's no surprise here. Many people want to learn a new language to be able to travel more. Because you can see new places and learn about different cultures, traveling is a popular hobby for many people. And what better way to connect with the people that you meet on your travels than by being able to speak with them in their native language. We have a lot of students who just want to learn some basic conversations to help them on their trips, but even this can help you day to day. Number eight, I want to live in a country that speaks the language. After traveling around, someone might discover a country that really appeals to them and they might decide they want to move there. But their language skills could use some work. Or maybe for a job or family reason, someone has to move to a new country. Not knowing the language can really make adjusting to a new home and even a new culture much more difficult. We have a lot of students who want to learn a language to help them when they move. Number nine, I just love learning languages. This is popular for people whose hobby is learning other languages. They fall in love with the process of actually studying and being able to speak in a new language. It's a huge feeling of accomplishment. Number 10, I want to open my mind and become more international. It's so important to expand your horizons and learn about more than your own culture. People around the world live their lives in different ways, and it's good to learn about them and how they interact. You never know what you could learn by opening your ears and mind to new things. Whatever your reason might be for learning a new language, as long as it keeps you motivated, it's a good one. Learning a new language is not an easy journey. It's one filled with lots of ups and downs. So keep in mind your reason and motivation for learning, whether it's so you can move to a new country or connect with a grandparent and let it push you towards success. And if you're ready to achieve your language goals, just check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! Want to know how to improve your listening and speaking skills, be able to save conversations, listen to them as many times as you want, and learn hundreds of practical everyday conversations? Well, there is an easy way to do this. In this video, we'll go over how to speak more using the dialogue track. So, what is the dialogue track? 
The dialogue track is an audio track with just the conversation from the lesson. It's only about 10 to 30 seconds long. Let's say you're looking at a five minute lesson about ordering food at a restaurant. First, you hear a conversation. Then our teachers explain every grammar rule and translate every word, so you know what it all means. That's where the dialogue track comes in. It gives you just the conversation. Here's what makes the dialogue track so powerful. First, you can quickly review the conversation without re-listening to the lesson. The dialogue track is just 10 to 30 seconds long, so it won't take you very long to cover both new and old information. This makes it perfect for a quick review of what you've just learned, and it helps keep it fresh in your brain. Second, you'll remember the conversations easier. Listen on repeat, like you would with a song, and the words, phrases, and grammar rules will stick better. And the more you come back to re-listen, the better it will all stick. Third, you'll speak more of your target language. So if you have 10, 20, or 100 dialogue tracks like that, then you have 10, 20, or 100 conversations that you'll know inside out and that you can use in real life. For example, conversations like catching up with friends, ordering at a restaurant, talking about your family, introducing yourself, and much, much more. Fourth, you improve your listening skills and can immerse yourself in the language. So imagine you've finished 20 lessons and you've downloaded 20 dialogue tracks to your phone. That's 20 conversations. You can create a playlist and play those 20 tracks and get used to the language and immerse yourself. To recap what we just learned, here's what you do to make the most of the dialogue tracks. First, after you finish a lesson, download the dialogue track. Save it to your computer or phone so you can listen to it on repeat whenever possible. Just replace three to 15 minutes of music listening for some language review. Next, if you've finished 20 lessons, you should have 20 dialogue tracks. Use those to create a playlist of these dialogue tracks so that you can listen to all kinds of conversations. And finally, try shadowing the conversations that you hear. This will become super easy once you've heard the conversation enough times. But if you're still struggling with a word or two, go back to the lesson and check the line-by-line -line breakdown of the conversation to find the words you need to practice. Boost your speaking skills with the dialogue track and check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! Want to power up your language? You can do this by using practical lessons that you can use in everyday life. In this video, you'll find out what it takes to power up your language right now. Imagine you're speaking a language without stopping to think. You have all the words and grammar to express what you want to say, and they're all flowing out of you as if you were a native speaker. That's when language becomes powerful. So how do you power up your language skills like that? Books and software alone won't help, but actual practical daily conversation lessons will. Native speakers that explain the conversation and teach you how to respond will power your language up. And so will these tools to help you master vocabulary and pronunciation quickly. First, power up your language with premium. This includes hundreds of audio and video lessons that will get you speaking. And you should know that we publish new lessons weekly. So on top of the current lesson library, there are even more lessons that you can learn along the way. And whatever your learning level is, we start you off with a lesson that's right for you. You can track your progress and see how much you've mastered with our site dashboard. Seeing your progress really helps you power up your language skills. It's really motivating to know that you're actually speaking and understanding a language that you couldn't before. Next, use the lesson notes. You don't get just the lessons. You also get detailed notes with each and every lesson meaning you get the complete lesson in writing and can easily follow along while you study. Plus, we've just recently upgraded them. The notes are brand new, easier to read, and work on any device, browser, or reader. Last, we have our premium study tools. As a premium member, you have unlimited website access, which means you also unlock our premium study tools. You'll get access to our 2,000-word core vocabulary list. These words are the most commonly used in everyday conversation, and they're essential to your conversational fluency. And you'll master them fast with our smart flashcard system and the word bank. You can perfect your pronunciation by reading from line-by-line -line transcripts. This means you'll have access to all the must-know words, and you'll be able to practice them with the correct pronunciation. 
Don't let your language learning slow down. If you're running low on motivation, power up your language learning with Premium. Get all of our premium tools for studying. Just check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! Want to make consistent language breakthroughs? Here's how you do it with our advanced language learning system. In this video, you'll learn about four simple steps to make breakthroughs with our lessons. First, by breakthrough, we mean finally understanding and speaking language that you simply couldn't before. You finally break through. So if you're stuck at a beginner level or just aren't making much progress, this is for you. Here are four simple steps, but the first one is the most important one. Step one, accept that you need new lessons, new real life conversations, new words, and new phrases. So you're hearing something new and improving your language skills. Repeating phrases you already know won't help you move forward. That's a mistake most learners make. They stick to what they already know. But if you could start understanding more language in minutes and start making consistent breakthroughs, would you? Well, here's how you break through with our learning system. Remember, you need to have a source of new lessons and new conversations to expose yourself to language you don't yet know. So if you're listening to our new lessons, which we publish weekly on top of our existing lesson library, you're good to go. If not, start right now. These lessons get you speaking and understanding language in minutes. Here's how. Visit the site, choose a new series or learning level that you haven't done already, and start with the first lesson. Step two, listen to a new lesson and expose yourself to real life conversations. Now, you might not understand it at first, but in time you will. All the real life conversations you hear in lessons are broken down, explained, and translated right after by our instructors. Plus, you can also read along with lesson notes so you never miss a word. So now you can actually understand the entire conversation. As a listener, you'll get exposed to brand new conversations and start understanding real life conversations. So what's the next step? Step three, you'll need to start speaking and repeating what you hear. That's the best way to start speaking any language. Do it from day one. With our voice recorder available inside the lessons, you can listen to each line of the conversation and then repeat and record yourself to see how close you are to a native speaker. Finally, step four. In case you missed anything, you can review with vocab lists, quizzes, and the line by line feature. The line by line breaks down the conversation so you can hear and read each line again and again. So even if you can't catch something the first time, you can review what you heard and be able to hear it on the next listen. But remember, the most important step is the first one. You must jump into new lessons and new conversations in order to make a language breakthrough. To make your language breakthrough, just check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, Hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Great work. Here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and eBooks for free. Just click the link in the description.